The Bible says, And thou, Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. Here's David's advice to his son about serving the Lord. He tells him to serve him with a perfect heart, a complete heart, a total heart, a heart that is all for him. And the advice that David, that spiritual man, gives Solomon, his son, is the advice that God would like to give to you, that Jesus Christ, your son of David, would give to you about serving his God. You've got to serve him with a perfect heart, a complete heart, a heart that is all for him. It doesn't mean you won't make mistakes. It doesn't mean you may not stumble and fall. It doesn't mean you may not be tempted or turned aside. It just means that your heart is pointing towards God. Your affection is for the Lord. Your service is directed and for him. Jesus would tell us later on, the son of David, no man can serve two masters. You can't have that divided heart. You're either going to hate the one and love the other, cleave to one and scorn the other. He said you cannot serve God and mammon. The same advice that David gave Solomon is the same counsel that Jesus Christ gives to us. We've got to have a heart that's all for him. You can't run a race with your mind distracted. You can't be a competitive athlete if you're not focused and locked in. And you cannot serve the King of Kings with a divided heart and eyes that are wandering. David goes on to say, For the Lord searcheth all hearts, and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. God knows your heart. God knows if you're for him or if you're in and out. You've split your heart. You have a divided heart. The best thing to do would have that willing mind that says, Lord, hear my, send me. Lord, take my heart. Lord, use me and direct me. Because if you've got that willing mind, you can have that perfect heart that is fit to serve the King of Kings.